Hey there, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Okay, so first of all, I did a review on the Carnival Crisps. I used Dr. Barry's uh, discount code to get some. Uh, I will go ahead and place that review video right here. It's Friday, and I ordered these, the Carnivore Crisps, because I was curious. And I actually ended up using Dr. Barry's code. So I only wanted to try a couple, the brisket and the ribeye. And this was $42 with the code. Now, the brisket bag, pretty full. Looks pretty good. Here is the ribeye. Now, this is it right here. All the rest of this up here is air. This was $11 for this. So I'm slightly disappointed with that. So let's go ahead and give the ribeye one a, a quick taste. <laughs> My dog hears a bag and she thinks it's her. All right, let's give the ribeye a quick taste. Looks like it's got some nice fat on it. You want to try it? It's okay. I think I prefer a ribeye. It's okay. Yeah. Let's try brisket mm. has a nice layer of fat on it it's okay too it might be good for like scooping things but I just wanted to give them a try because everybody's always raving and ranting about them. Here, let me show you where how much. Okay, so this is how much of the, the ribeye is in there. It's, it's not much. It's okay. Wait, did you go take off with it? So, I don't know. I don't think I like the taste of this. It tastes like liver. Anyway, okay guys, I'll come back to you on Monday or Tuesday with my week of eating. Oh man, today was a keto day. I did a taco salad. I don't know if I'm going to end up doing maybe some wings later, but I haven't decided yet. Yeah, I don't like them. Mm -mm. Okay guys, see you on Tuesday. Those actually turned out to be very expensive dog treats. I'm sorry, guys. I just, I had to try them. I was curious about them. And, uh, yeah, now that curiosity is completely gone. Anyway, welcome back, everybody, to my channel. I am Carnivore-ish. And the Carnivore-ish basically means that I will be using some things that may not fall into the Carnivore genre seasonings someday one day out of the week I'm probably gonna do keto I haven't done keto at all this week and I will also go ahead and post my weigh-in this morning and I'm down one more pound okay so right here on my stove let me tilt y'all down a little bit that is bacon grease uh, that I've been saving in this jar and I am going to do a pork cutlet today uh, this is how it started out Pretty thick, guys. Let me show you. It's really, really thick cut. And I pounded it down to basically a pork cutlet. I've ground up my own pork rinds. These are salt and pepper pork rinds. I'm going to go ahead and bread this. I don't know if I'm going to use an egg. I probably should use an egg. I might not. I probably won't. Um, I had eggs two days last week, which is why I think I didn't lose that much this week. So 
this this week I'm not going to incorporate any eggs just to see what next week's weigh-in is going to look like. So in the meantime, over here I have some thinly sliced beef um, cooking down in the wok with some Redmond's Real Salt seasoning salt on it. And I'm just cooking that down. I'm going to let some of the juices cook out of it and then at some point get it fried up really good. I may wrap a beef hot dog in some bacon today. It is now 1230. So I'm just prepping things right now. I likely won't eat until maybe 1, 130. But I'm going to go ahead and leave that bacon grease sitting there for right now until I, I let this pork cutlet set and just kind of absorb some of the pork rice and I'm going to actually fry it in that bacon grease. <sighs> what else? I have a chuck roast right here in my crock pot for the family. Of course, I'll probably eat some of it as well. And uh, yeah, when I get come back in, when I get ready to fry this off, I will show you guys pretty much a snippet of everything I ate throughout the week. I also had some chicken wings this, this past week too, which did not set well with me. I, I, I don't know. And another side effect of going carnivore, I'm also going to discuss with you guys. And it's, it's a strange side effect that I'm having. So uh, I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I am back. It is actually now 1.30. <laughs> I got to watch in some... Uh, YouTube videos plus this uh, this right here is still cooking so I've added some water to it to help cook it along because I want it to be tender and usually when you buy that kind of stuff it's not very tender all right so this is an actual 10 ounce piece of pork loin with two ounces of pork rinds on it so to be honest, I don't even know if this is ready. Yeah, seems to be right. Okay, the bacon grease is ready, and I'm going to go ahead and slowly add this to it. All right. Guys, please, hopefully this will turn out okay. I've never really cooked in bacon grease like this before, or fried anything in bacon grease before. So fingers crossed that this works out. So let me tip you down a little bit so you can see it. So we're going to let this fry up a little bit. I had to put this underneath my handle because the bottom of this pan is a little rounded so it's not sitting flat. So yeah, there's that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and fry this up. I don't know if I'm going to end up eating that with this. This is pretty big. Uh, I am doing OMAD, so it will be the only meal that I have today. I, I generally stop eating whenever I'm done eating my OMAD. I never eat past 4 o'clock. So even if I ate something at 3.50, I literally only have 10 minutes to eat. So I never eat past 4 o'clock. That seems to work the best for me. Also, while this is... Frying. I'll go ahead and hopefully uh, flash some pictures up here. I had like egg, scrambled eggs with a, a slice of cheese, sausage, uh, and some pork belly. I actually had it twice. I had, I think I added bacon to the sausage and scrambled eggs one day. Uh, I had taco salad. I take that back. I did have a keto day, and I think it was on. Wednesday last week, I think Wednesday or Thursday. I did have a keto day. It was a taco salad. Uh, I don't know what else. I had a hodgepodge yesterday. I had a beef hot dog, kielbasa, and ground beef yesterday with butter all cooked together. So it's been kind of a hodgepodge kind of one meal all week. Uh, I did have some chicken wings from this local place that we have that's called uh, America's Best Wings uh, fried. They don't bread their wings I just fry them straight and I did have a bit of an upset stomach with that you guys a bit of an upset stomach all right so I'm gonna go ahead and let this fry up when I flip it I'll come back and um let you know what one of these side effects is that I'm having okay I've gone ahead and flipped it over let it cook quite crispy guys actually very crispy it's it's like 
katsu. If you've ever had like pork katsu or, or chicken katsu, that's basically what it's going to be. Since I've started carnivore, those of you who followed me for a while know that I've been in menopause for about three years. Well, my menopause symptoms have completely gone, which is great. I'm super excited about that. However, there is a symptom coming back that I did not expect. Menstrual pain. Like, I'll be 53 in July, so, and I've been in menopause since I was 50, or a little, a little before I turned 50, it was like mid-2019, when I was 49, and guys, I was cramping and had bloating as if I was getting ready to start my menstrual cycle, which may explain why I only lost a pound this week, but that was one of the, I hope that I'm not getting ready to start a menstrual cycle again. That would suck really badly. So. All right, let's give this a look on the other side, see how crispy we are. Oh, very crispy. Okay, we're getting, some of it came off there. That's okay. I gotta say, I'm not liking the smell. Not really liking the smell, guys. Uh, I've never liked cooking in lard. It's always given me a bit of a, you know, feeling. So I'm hoping this isn't <laughs> ruined cooking in lard. Um, if it is, I have another one I can pound out and just, like, fry it in the air fryer, I guess. So, all right. I'm going to flip this one more time. Ooh. Turn that down a little. So I'm going to go ahead and finish cooking this up. Hopefully it will cook all the way through. And then I will come back to you guys. I don't know if I'm going to eat any of that. I haven't decided yet. So maybe I'll see how I feel after I eat this. If I'm still hungry, I, I may eat some of that. I don't know. This is pretty big. So I'll be right back in when I get ready to slice it up. Okay, everyone. We're back, and I am, I'm hopeful this tastes good. I'm pretty sure it got cooked all the way through. I haven't cut it yet, so I have it right down here in front of me. So I'm going to go ahead and, and bring you guys down so you can see how I'm going to cut this. Okay, guys, you may be a little crooked, but, you know, it is what it is. So I have my chef's knife here. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it into strips. It sounds nice and crunchy, but the, the test is going to be the taste. And it looks like it did get cooked all the way through. That's the thing about pounding it out fairly thin. You get down to this thicker part. Hopefully that got cooked. Yeah, it looks cooked. Okay. Now the taste test. Please be good. Pretty good. It is. It's pretty good. Would I do the next one in the air fryer? Mm, probably. Uh, it started to pop pretty bad. I had to use my grease screen because it was it was popping pretty good. So, all right, guys, I will go ahead and eat this. Decide whether or not I want to decide whether or not I want to eat some of that beef. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and eat my katsu which is normally made with panko. So, okay, here it is, guys. 10 ounce pork loin, two ounces of salt and pepper park pork rinds. And um, yeah, that's it. All right, guys, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, hopefully next week will be a better week. I'm not gonna eat any eggs this week, just to uh, just as, to test, see if that's plus. Plus these menstrual cycle symptoms, whatever. We'll see. All right, guys. I'll see you next week. Have a fantastic weekend this coming weekend. And um, I'll see you guys next week. I love you so much. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you next time.
Okay, guys. <laughs> I can't do it. I've eaten about half. I am quite nauseous. And I can't finish it. And I don't know if it's a psychological thing because I cooked it in the bacon grease. I don't know. I just don't know. But it does not taste good to me. And it could have everything to do with me eating so much beef. Because the chicken didn't taste good to me either. And started to make me slightly nauseous. I could usually pound down like a dozen chicken wings. I think I ate four and started to feel nausea. And I've been eating a lot of beef. But I eat, I eat bacon. But I don't know. It's just, this is just not, it's not guys, it's not hitting so I don't know if I'm going to end up eating some of the, the really thinly sliced steak that I cooked in there. So we'll see. But as of right now, I'm just going to drink my water. Maybe have an electrolyte drink. I just don't know. I just don't know, guys. So, yeah, thanks for coming in and joining me. And, um, yeah, we'll see how the rest of the week, uh, rest of the week goes, guys. So, all right.